It's been a little while, almost like a year, but I'm back. What are we doing today? Half demon, half me. I will be using scar wax. I've played with this in the past. It's very hard to manipulate. I have a couple little tips and tricks up my sleeve that I've researched and hopefully it works out well for me today. But let's, honestly, let's get right into this. I think for the best, best view for you guys would probably be for me to do this side much better. So we're gonna map out with a little, it's a Morphe pencil in the color toots. Where do we want this? How do we want this? So we need a horn. We're doing a horn. I kind of want to leave my lips in. I feel like that'd be like kind of cool. Um, yeah, you guys kind of can't see that. But look, I can see it, which is perfect because the darker it is on your face is like an outline. Like you don't want that. You want it to blend in as much as possible. So now we're gonna make up a race all of our makeup. If you didn't know, I don't have eyebrows. I don't own them. They don't exist. We're gonna go straight in with the scar wax. And a tip that I learned, coat your fingers. I don't know, just like an oil. This is coconut oil. It's gotta be good enough. Also, spatula. We're gonna take, we have like this little ball. We're just gonna like kinda work it, work it, work it. And we're gonna thick it. Okay, so not bad. I'm glad I didn't choose to record that because this took forever. There's definitely a technique to using this scar wax. Your skin needs to not have any oil on it at all. Definitely no makeup. Oh, and then this black lipstick, it's all the way. Just everywhere. And we're just gonna... Do a little bit of makeup, long wax, color it. We got runaway wax. This looks already like cool. All right. Oh no, it's broken. It's broken. Now I've kind of like peeled up the bottom part and we're just gonna kind of leave it like that. Oh, it's already breaking. Why is this stuff so hard to do? <sighs> this is still not like 100%. But we had to modify the shape a little bit because it just, it's not like sticking to this smile crease that I have. Very annoying. But anyway, oh, every time I turn the camera on, it starts to break apart. Honestly, you know what? Fuck it. Whatever. What does it matter? Scrape off this extra shit to... Oh, no, no, no. So anyways, into ruining my makeup sponge, we're going to dip it into red. Red for the devil. Red for the devil. Okay, that's not quite going to work. Let's ruin my Smashbox brush. Just kidding. It'll come out. I almost wondered, like, halfway in. Oh, God, the fucking scar wax. If um, I should have done the red first. But, you know, we're already, like, I feel like we're pretty balls deep in right now. And I'm just not willing to go back at this point. So, here we are. There that goes. In a, you know, true me fashion, I forgot. We have to do the horns. Ooh, all that latex. It's gonna be so much fun to get out of my hair later. So we are gonna use my tried and true cotton and latex technique, except instead of cotton, we're using like a piece of paper towel and we're just gonna strip it. We've done our cotton and latex. We're gonna go back with this smaller one because the smaller one's working way better for us. Mm -hmm. 
didn't re realize we weren't recording, but I added some eyeliner. Yeah. Yeah, that was needed. I'm like this close to ripping it all off my face and being Location done with it. Okay, thank you. Um, because this is not working. Okay, I did a lot better on this than I thought. I 10 out of 10 do not recommend scar wax. Sucks. Hate it. Never using it again myself. Mmm. Liquid latex. This, remember, we did cotton and latex here. That looks cool as fuck. Came out great. The pieces that stayed for the scar wax look good. But between the hassle and just almost giving up, I don't think I'll be using it again anytime soon. Obviously, I didn't look up enough tips and tricks. I don't care. My camera battery is about to die. See you guys later.